So hey guys, today I'm gonna go grab Alex and Jordan and we're gonna go out to the sand dunes in the desert in Washington. Yes, you heard me right, desert and sand dunes. I heard that last night or the day before there were a few wildfires. I'm curious to see how this looks and we probably also have to be careful but yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go pick up Alex and Jordan and make myself on the way. All right, what's good, guys? <laughs> You're holding wrong, dude. <laughs> All right, so what's good? Um, yeah, so Jordan's on the camera right now. You can good. point to yourself. Ooh. And uh, we're on the way to pick up Alex. We're gonna go out to the sand dunes, like I already said. And it's, it's like really, really smoky out here because we had some wildfires. I already said that too, I know. Um, I'm kind of repeating myself right now. I don't know what I'm gonna say, so uh, I'll just keep on going right now. <laughs> out here in the Washington desert are the reactors on the Hanford campus, which was one of the production complexes of the radioactive plutonium for the 6,000 nuclear weapons of the US arsenal. But I'm not dead yet and I don't have any cancer as much as I know, so the views are definitely worth the radioactivity. All right, guys, we just recently parked the car after uh, 10 minutes gravel road and uh, another 10 minutes of asphalt. We arrived somewhere here, but we don't see any sand dunes. It's pretty sandy. It's getting sandy on the pit. <laughs> Looking pretty cool. Well, how are you guys feeling? I'm pretty stoked. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. We all filming? What is that gonna happen? What is gonna happen make, when we film make, make the cameras a kiss. camera filming a camera? That's make the crazy. Cameras kiss. <laughs> and dude, my socks are collecting a lot of sand right now. Dude, look at my look at my socks, dude. My shoes are holding more sand than my socks. Look at that. Here. Look at this here. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know what's different about your socks. I don't know. Yeah, mine's are aren't as high as yours. While Alex and Jordan kept walking in socks, I decided to take mine off and go barefoot. We're already walking on sand and we didn't even reach the dunes yet. <laughs> I'm just walking barefoot. The f sand is freaking hot, but it's, it's doable. It's not too bad. Well, whatever. Fact is, it's freaking insane out here. And <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just like, I, I, I'm not used to all this. I'm kind of used to having forest around me and, and, and water and creeks and, and, and pine trees. Not really like sand and, and cacti and and Alex. <laughs> I'm always right. <laughs> oh, you do. <laughs> well, I like it here. I really like it here. I'm gonna come out here again. After about a half an hour hike, we finally saw the first dune. It's about two miles from the parking lot to the first dune. We didn't experience a lot of wildlife, but of what people say, this area is plentiful and diverse in wildlife. We heard a couple coyotes out there in the dark that were very, very close to us. And also look out for golden eagles and bald eagles, or lizards and small mammals. There are a couple of them, as much as I heard. The second dune is another mile from the first dune and about twice the size. After the second dune, there's no trail anymore, so I would advise you to turn around, because there's not really a lot to see beyond the dunes. If you decide to continue anyway, please keep in mind that this territory has a very sensitive environment that takes a long time to recover after being stepped on. So uh, watch where you're stepping. All right, we got the first dunes behind us, and we got one more to go, and that's a bigger one. It is really, really amazing. Dunes, I, baby. I really... <laughs> They're dunes, baby. Dunes, baby, dunes. <laughs> in the 
<laughs> Who would expect yeah, dude, that in Washington, the state of rainforests and, and pine trees and, and mountains, that there's something like this hidden? No, dude, this is gonna be perfect for your Washington diversity. Like, this this is. is literally the definition of Washington's diversity. It is. You can go from the coast, you can go to the ocean, the sound, the rainforest, the mountains, and the sand dunes. <laughs> How much diverse can you get? You Thank you, Alex, for the statement. This is really true. It's getting rocky here, so shoes would be appropriate. And well, it's not really far. It's like literally right there. Sand dunes are right at the river. So I'm, it's crazy that nobody's out here. This place is insane. Maybe because it's three hours from Seattle, but <laughs> I. I still accepted like I expected like maybe somebody but there's no one. We haven't met one person. So where are we heading now? Yeah, right now we're heading to the water, trying to get a dip. We don't know. We're just out here. We don't know where we are. I'm just following. <laughs> Alright. Some motherfucking deer shit. Deer shit. I wrote a letter for you. <laughs> hey Jordan. What's it good? Knock knock. Who's there? Letters. Letters to who? Letters be friends. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the water. We made it to the river. Doesn't look too bad. And wide and bright, there's only like bush, except of here. We found the sweet spot. Very, very lucky. Yeah. So how how's the water guys? It's amazing. Yeah, all good. Two thumbs up. Not too cold? Oh, that's amazing. We got two thumbs up for... I don't know how this river's called. Alright, stuck in the mud part three. He is trying to get out. No, we're trying to go down. Oh, you're trying to get down? We're trying to go deeper. Alright. Now get out. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Okay, there's one foot. And there's two feet. There we go. Yeah. Oh, your turn. Oh, Me? <laughs> Your turn. Right, I'm, I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> 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 oh shit. What is that? What is that? Kinda can feel some ah! of those roots. What? There's like bubbles coming up. So <laughs> Alright, we got a water filtering system where we take the river water and just pour it into that bottle. Put clean water in there. Clean river water really important to stay hydrated out in the desert at the sand dunes because we're gonna go back there for sunset or it might be a little bit cooler but still it's very dry out there yeah water is important yeah I think the sunset's gonna be really good it's already beautiful great tones we're getting exactly we're heading up to the dunes the sunlight is getting more and more into the golden hour and I'm quite a little bit tired, but we have a beautiful sunset ahead of us. And those colors are just amazing, and I think they're going to be really, really good. First of all, because we're out here in the desert. And second of all, because we have those forest burns, with those wildfires up in Cleadalum. It's going to be, I hope, like a really, really reddish look and tone. It's going to be perfect for pictures. We've got this beautiful landscape. Are you good? <laughs> we are going to have beautiful lighting conditions. Also, we have another photographer down here. And yes, I'll catch you later up on the dunes. We gotta climb. I gotta use my hands now. Thanks, guys. Me too. Well, we hiked all the way from over there up to here. And the sand dunes are right above this little hill. So, it's just beautiful out here. If you had to compare this to the Mount Freeman Trail, the sunrise. All right, y'all, it is like unbelievably cold up here. <laughs> I mean, it's not as windy as Mount Fremont. That was just like unbearably cold. <laughs> a lot more relaxed. It's the total opposite, dude. Yeah. It is. First of all, it's sunset, not, not sunrise. Second of all, it's in the desert and not up in the mountains. And third of all, 
we're not as freezing, and that's the most important thing. Especially with that haze and with that smoke in the air. I know it's not cool because all those forests and all this wildlife is burning right now. But dude, tell them how awesome is it? How awesome it is? It's pretty nice. Yeah, definitely not as bright as it normally is. But with the haze, it's a little bit redder. You got a lot more color. And we're just in a cool place. You know, oh, yeah, so you're definitely it's... very red on that one. <laughs> all those purples back there. Yes, this is beautiful. And this is why Washington. Say that again. And this is why Washington is the best fucking state. Thank you. Uh, all right, guys. I hate to say it, but we have to head back again. It is getting dark now, and it was just a really beautiful sunset. One of the most beautiful sunsets I've seen so far. I know I say that all the time, but this is freaking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost broke my neck. It's kind of cool getting to walk this for the first time. Yeah, we, we're walking this here for the first time, kind of. There's no, no one ever walked here before. <laughs> one more time, please. How was it? That was awesome. Awesome! It was great! We had an amazing day, and I hope you guys had an amazing day, too. If you want to see more of Washington's diversity and the landscape that Washington has to offer, then make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification otherwise you're not getting any notifications on YouTube when my next videos are coming out and well I'm saying peace out with that we are heading back to the car Alex has got to drive are you feeling good? <laughs> all right Alex feeling good Jordan's feeling great always goodbye guys stay blessed motherfucker